What's up everybody? You're chilling with Chris here from Committed 3D Tech and you read the description right. Today we're gonna unbox my $3,000 computer. What the freak is this idiot doing? I got the 27 inch iMac. I also got the six core processor. And lastly, the upgrade I did was the Radeon Pro Vega 48 that has HBM2 memory. That's a video card and I'll explain why I got that as we go through the video. Let's unbox it. First off, can I talk about how big this box is? It's bigger than me. Holy cow. I thought this thing was gonna be like, I don't know, not this big, but it ended up being absolutely huge. Yikes, look at how gorgeous that is. Absolutely beautiful. So I was, I got the Magic Keyboard, obviously. Show that here. And then I was supposed to get, it looks like it's already in there. Boom, baby. The Magic Trackpad 2. This is one that I'm really excited about. It's wireless and it just, uh, it's like having a MacBook except it's on the desktop. So it's super, super nice. The whole reason that I got the iMac was because, as a lot of you know, I've been producing a lot of content. When it comes to rendering videos, my MacBook just wasn't cutting it. This is actually what it sounds like. Now also, that's the reason that I got the HBM2 upgraded graphics card, is because that's gonna cut my rendering time almost in half from what I've read. Okay, so it's been about a week since I got my iMac. Obviously, I wanted to test it out before I posted this review, just so that I could make sure that I was vouching for a good product. So what I wanna do now is go through the three most important reasons of why I got this Mac and why I think it was really just a good computer. Reason number one, Deciding to get this computer was extremely easy. I, I know the product and I know the brand. So when it comes to buying PC products, there's a lot of different brands and it's hard to know exactly the quality that you're getting. With Apple, the quality across the brand is very steady. So I knew that I was gonna get a good product. I knew that from my other Apple products that it was gonna be something very good and reliable. The only tough part was deciding between getting this iMac and the iMac Pro. But fortunately, I did watch some reviews and I found out that the iMac Pro does have a few quirks that I did not like also when it came to needing repairs. In the rare circumstance that you would need to take it to the Genius Bar, there have been lots of issues with that computer because there are very few uh, geniuses at Apple that are certified to work on that computer. So I felt like this computer was the closest balance between performance like the iMac Pro and repairability if something went wrong. The second reason was because of the accessibility. Once again, when it comes to buying Apple products, I use an Apple Watch, I have an iPhone, and I also have a MacBook. Another really awesome feature is the Migration Assistant. To set this computer up, all I had to do, click a few buttons, and then 10 minutes later, everything from my MacBook was on this computer. Within 10 minutes, it's all set up. I don't have to download any new apps. I don't have to worry about transferring my files. In addition to that, my iCloud setup makes it so that all of my music 
and all of my pictures are universally accessible through all of my devices. Another thing I really love about this, if you haven't heard about the Apple Watch, it has an unlock feature. So literally all I have to do is click on my trackpad and my computer unlocks simply by having my Apple Watch on. I cannot stand typing my password in all the time. It also has the find my iPhone feature, which I really love, and it has tons of more connectivity tools that we won't go into, but that's one of the reasons why I love Apple and why I chose this computer. Reason number three is because of the performance. It's well known that Apple is one of the top choices for creative professionals. So when it comes to video production, content creation, or pretty much anything that you have to render, these computers are top notch. I did upgrade the graphics card to the Radeon Pro Vega that has HBM2 memory. They told me that it would pretty much cut my rendering time in half. And I didn't believe them until I actually went to render one of my videos and it literally took five minutes to do the entire thing, which just was crazy to me because on my MacBook, sometimes it was taking up to 45 minutes to render a 10 minute video. With the high quality of, of videos that I am coming out with and plan to come out with, this computer was an absolute necessity. Now, another reason why performance was so important is because at Committed 3D Tech, we don't just invest and review technology, but we are also developing it. So one of the things we're working on right now is a very complex visual neural network for an app that I'm developing. And this computer is gonna help with that a lot. Big reason is the 128 gigabytes of memory that I upgraded. Now, if I was to buy that memory from Apple directly, it would cost around $2,400 to get 128 gigs. I've gone to a third party and I'm going to install it myself. I'll make sure to post that video. So if you haven't yet already, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you can be notified when I come out with that video. That memory upgrade is only gonna cost me a little under 900 bucks. I promise you, as soon as I install it, this computer already screams, but it is gonna go so fast. By the way, if you haven't yet, go ahead and like this video. So there you have it. Those are the top three reasons that I got this computer, and I have absolutely loved it so far. So thanks for tuning in. Once again, I'm Chris from Committed 3D Tech, and we'll catch you next time.